Right. It's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to this channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? So this is a series, my favorite artists, and no bumper, we're going to get straight into it. So this is number 117 out of 133 favorite artists. Why 133? Uh, the details are down below, but basically I made 133 80 minute playlists and I'll put the link to this one down below and I ranked them and then I considered my live experience have I seen the band and I'll let you know uh, with each artist if I've seen them in concert and when and uh, then do I you know do I read articles if I get a magazine uh, do, do, do I want to read about them or have I bought a biography so this particular band um, yeah it's a band is uh only got one original member they started in 1983 and they are scottish irish welsh and british but the one remaining member is from uh scotland i think he's from glasgow but i'm not sure i don't remember and so who is it who am i talking about who's a uh multi great britain band well it is the water boys yeah love the water boys uh folk music and rock and roll and uh one member that uh was with the band for a while carl wallinger who formed world party he passed away this year so wanted to say rest in peace to him but mike scott the leader is still around and have i seen the band in concert yes i have December 1990, the, um, which tour was that? The, um, yeah, I'm not sure which tour that was, the Dream Harder tour, maybe, I'm not sure, but 1990, but they did a very eclectic set uh, with a lot of um, covers and outtakes, so it's impossible to really put a playlist together of a concert facsimile, but they were very good. Um, Opening band was the Mudsaw Chick, the Chicksaw Mud Puppies. That was it. The Chicksaw Mud Puppies, which is basically a duo. But the Water Boys were great, and the sound system was good, and it was in Symphony Hall, so the acoustics were good. And uh, the ones that I have, according to Discogs, I have four of their CDs, but one of them i can't find but the first one chronologically is this is the sea which is just fantastic so i i love these songs don't bang the drum the whole of the moon spirit medicine bow and the title track this is the sea this is a fantastic album if you've never heard it just absolutely great and then um i have Fisherman's Blues, and all of these are in uh, pro sleeves. And this one, you know, you've got uh, the title track, Strange Boat, which is great, World Party, which is the song that uh, Carl Wallinger used the song title for his band name. And then there's a Van Morrison cover on here of Sweet Thing, which is really great. Both of these albums get four and a half stars on all music. And then I have The Secret Life of the Water Boys, 81 to 85, which is a collection of demos, outtakes, and live tracks. So this is what I'm talking about, because this only gets two stars on all music. But, you know, I'm a fan, so I got this. And then the other one, I'll just put a picture up here, is The Live Adventures of the Water Boys. And if I sold that, I don't know why, because it's it's not uh, easy to uh, get. Uh, but, you know, I had to downsize when I moved to Mexico. But, yeah, what do I like about these guys? Great melodies, great singing, and great lyrics. So how can you go wrong? wrong? You know, like this is the, the, you know, the whole of the moon is probably, well, that is their most highly streamed song. And. You know, I saw the rain covered. I saw the rain covered valley. You saw Brigadoon. I saw the crescent moon. You saw the whole of the moon. 
So I don't know if I got those lyrics right, but everything is, uh, you know, man is tethered, spirit isn't. And it, it's just all these uh, really great uh, songs. But early on, they were part of a scene called the big music and water boys were kind of lumped in with big country and the alarm and U2. It was all considered the big music, but I'm a sucker for that. I like uh, drama or melodrama, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. As long as it's not, um, as long as it doesn't come across as crass, if I buy into it, then it's then it's great. So, Water Boys number one seventeen. Uh, if you want to support the channel, hit that like or subscribe button. I also have a Patreon link that I'll put below, and any support that you can do. But these um, videos are monetized, so I appreciate you watching them. You know the copyrighted material I do, the reactions. I don't make any money from those, so. Uh, I probably make four cents off this video. I appreciate it very much. As we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.